Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. So glad that you could join us for another segment. We'll be speaking with Mark McDonough in this segment. He's joining us here from Chromacode. It's a molecular diagnostics company to talk about how the company uh, provides a cost-effective, rapid, and accurate method of testing clinically actionable biomarkers. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Mark McDonough, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you, Neil. Appreciate it. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, what's your area of expertise? And tell us a bit about Chroma Code. Yeah, great. Thank you. So, uh, for myself, I'm uh, I was fortunate enough to be a naval officer for six years out of uh, college, and then for the last 26 years, I've had the good fortune of being in the healthcare field. Uh, most of that in uh, cancer diagnostics, um, and so I, I've. Uh, I uh, had the opportunity to really get to know the world of uh, genomics, pathology, oncology, and molecular diagnostics. So those would be, you know, I would say areas of, of my personal expertise and a passion to to help patients that were privileged to serve uh, in that capacity. And, and uh, I've been fortunate to be uh, chief executive of companies over the last 10 years, and I've been with Chromacode just joining them earlier this year. Uh, and the reason for that is I was really impressed by, you know, the team, but also our technology. And um, uh, we are a company that uh, was founded and incubated out of, uh, spun out of Caltech, uh, incredible uh, technology uh, from our uh, founder, Aditya, uh, who's also my chief technology officer. And um, we feel that we have a a really unique opportunity in the world of genomics to help uh, physicians and laboratories serve, you know, more patients uh, um, globally. And we're going to do that, uh, you know, in a a number of ways. Um, But our particular first area of of technology is is around our high definition PCR, uh, which is just a a really efficient molecular profiling tool. And I can I can talk more about uh, more about that in a, in a minute. But uh, the company's been around, you know, for about seven years. We've got a, a great cohort of uh, of investors, and we're really excited about continuing to make an impact on patient care. Now, you did say that you're offering solutions in a number of areas, uh, including, of course, oncology being, I guess, the main one. But what's the biggest unmet need that Chromacode is is working to meet right now? Yeah, that's a great question. So patients today need, you know, high quality answers very quickly and they they need it to, to be affordable. So the first uh, application in, gen- in in oncology and genomics for Chromacode is with a uh, lung cancer assay that we've uh, just recently launched and we're really excited about. And, and what this test does, Neil, is it, it, it looks at a comprehensive uh, gene profile of, you know, nine genes mapped to 15 biomarkers that also uh, are, are correlated with 32 different therapies so that one of the biggest unmet need for a patient today who unfortunately may have stage four lung cancer is they are going to be making decisions of can, can they get on a targeted therapy? Should they start with immunotherapy? And these are decisions that they need to make very quickly with their clinician. And where Chroma Code is coming in and bridging a gap between uh, more comprehensive tests that take longer and require more tissue and are, are uh, more expensive, and we're bridging a gap between single tests, what are called single gene tests that can only look at one thing at a time, we bring a, a very comprehensive approach much quicker than with next generation sequencing and less expensive so that the patient can get on therapy much faster, yet it's a more uh, comprehensive tool than single gene assays. So there's a, there's a real um, unique fit for us that we're able to, uh, to meet, which we're excited about with our first test in lung cancer. So the single gene assays were basically a, a trial and error situation uh, to test, fail, test again, fail, test, and then succeed. But yours gives you many options the first time out so that um, targeted care can be rendered a lot quicker, if I'm understanding correctly. You, 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 you've got it. I mean, single gene assays, I don't want to take anything away from the efficacy. If, if you know exactly what you're looking for, they can be a great application if you're just looking for EGFR and ALK. Uh, we're able to look at 
uh, 15 biomarkers at once in a very quick and efficient way. So you, you've got it, right? Instead of just doing one at a time. And the other thing you'll remember with lung cancer in particular is the tissue that we get from a biopsy is precious. And so being able to run a panel all at once with just one sample taken from the patient is critical as opposed to having to take multiple samples to run multiple tests. So, so you have the unmet need of getting the, the the right patient, the right therapy at the right time with a less expensive, much faster solution that conserves tissue um, that's also in, in, done in a really high quality fashion is, is what we're delivering. So how exactly does uh, your technology offer this uh, efficiency and speed? Yes. Yeah, so what we do is we're, we, we do what's called multiplexing. So, we combine our unique chemistries um, and the backend chroma code cloud to look at multiple uh, targets in, in, a, in a particular PCR well. So we're able to, whereas conventional um, PCR technology is able to look at, you know, up to five targets a sample typically uh, with digital PCR, we are able to uh, basically magnify that, if you will, and and, and we have internal data of uh, up to 50 targets per sample and uh, published data of 30 targets per sample that we're able to look at. So we are what what is known as multiplexing or able to look at a uh, significant uh, amount of more samples uh, or more targets per sample leveraging our software as well as our chemistries. Understanding how you've uh, met this uh, unmet need as far as the technology and the diagnostics is concerned, what about uh, other markets where they don't have anything like this? Are you, um, are you in partnership? Are you, do you have plans to go into other markets? Yeah, great, great question. So, you know, we uh, are doing internal work today on – uh, looking at the transplant rejection market. So there's a, there's a real need for, um, patients who, uh, are, 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 are look, are trying to be determined for, um, whether their, uh, organ transplant is, is being, uh, is being rejected. Um, and so there's a real opportunity for us there, um, to, uh, to perform and, in that market. So that's something that we are undergoing proof of concept and uh, analyzing very closely as a, as a market where we think we could leverage our technology to deliver much faster results than it's out there uh, conventionally, uh, again, at a reasonable cost to our customers. Um, we're also looking at you know, minimal residual disease, and we're, again, early in that uh, process as well, but uh, those are in proof of concept stages internally in the company. Mm -hmm. And then we also are working with, you know, partners to uh, develop custom assays based on their demands where we could leverage our, you know, backend chroma code cloud to deliver solutions that they want tailored to them. So those are all kind of several vectors to continue to build on the uh, platform of chroma code. Give us a website where our listeners can learn more, please. Great. It's uh, www.chromacode.com. Great. And that's C-H-R-O-M-A-C-O-D-E.com, correct? You got it. Great, exactly. great. Mark, I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. All right. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Mark McDonough. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. And be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio. Thank you.